Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you the factory fresh off-road true 4x4 RV, the Winnebago Rebel. Designed specifically for active outdoor enthusiasts, the all-new Winnebago Rebel takes a new approach to adventure with straightforward design and function-driven features. Taking full advantage of the proven 4x4 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, the Revel's 3-liter, 6-cylinder turbo diesel platform puts 325 pounds-feet of torque through an on-demand 4-wheel drive system, complete with high-low range and hill descent mode for added off-road capability. Add off-road performance with style with the 17-inch matte black performance wheels and BF Goodrich TA KO2 all-terrain tires. On the road, we don't sacrifice fuel economy with the fuel-efficient Mercedes-Benz Sprinter boasting 16 to 22 miles per gallon highway. Inside, the Revel's unique features start with a floor plan designed around a 140 cubic foot gear garage with a powered lift bed. A full galley, including a compressor-driven refrigerator, makes meal prep a breeze, while the all-in-one bath and gear closet boasts a cassette-style toilet that eliminates the need for a separate black water holding tank. Add a 200-watt ZAMP standard solar system with expandable capabilities, diesel-powered S-bar heating and on-demand hot water, a dinette with a pull-up table that converts to an additional sleeping surface, and many more innovative features, and the result is the new Revel. Quite simply, the most off-road capable RV Winnebago and Litson RV has ever offered. And it's available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago Motorized Division of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, and recently named by the manufacturer, Winnebago Industries, as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award. Now for the past five consecutive years. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new factory fresh Mercedes-Benz based Revel in accordance with the way Winnebago Industries as well as Mercedes-Benz outline inside their owner's manuals in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and varying your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that three liter six cylinder turbo diesel platform, as opposed to the way a delivery driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in your new Mercedes powertrain, sleep that first night in your Winnebago Rebel and eat that first meal factory fresh here at Litson RV. The 2020 Winnebago Revel is now equipped with the third generation Mercedes-Benz Sprinter VS30 chassis. And since its debut in 1995, Winnebago Industries was the first North American RV manufacturer to build atop a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis with the first generation running from 1995 to 2006 with the second generation running from 2007 up until 2018. This new VS30 chassis provides an innovative fuel efficient platform with interior aesthetic upgrades similar to what is in the Mercedes S-Class luxury automobile. It is equipped with the three liter six cylinder turbo diesel platform boasting 325 pounds feet of torque or power it is now mated up with the 7-speed automatic 7G Tronic Plus transmission that does include grade braking capabilities. We'll cover inside all of the aesthetic upgrades to provide that luxury-like feel. However, really what is critical to the new VS30 chassis are all of the safety enhancements built now equipped for the RV van life generation. The first critical safety enhancement to the all new third generation VS30 Mercedes Benz Sprinter chassis is active brake assist. In the event that the system, which uses a combination of radar and camera technology, senses a visual obstruction ahead, the first the driver will be alerted to a visual and acoustic warning. Once the driver then applies the brakes, Active Brake Assist applies the most effective brake pressure and if too weak will engage autonomous braking capabilities. 
It also is the only system that can recognize and is designed to brake for pedestrians in the way. Active Lane Keeping Assist will sense if you seem to be unintentionally changing lanes in a range of situations, even in slight bends. Mercedes gives you a helpful audio and visual warning and then applies brake pressure to help you get back in the lane. Targeted intervention of the ESP systems and brake systems gently bring you back to your intended path. Adaptive or active cruise control, as we know here in North America, or as Mercedes terms, Active Distance Assist Distronic regulates the speed of your RV for you and automatically helps you maintain the distance to a vehicle detected in front of you. If you are approaching a vehicle in front of you, Distronic Cruise Control will slow your RV automatically and as that vehicle vacates or speeds up, will accelerate up to your desired cruise control level. You can increase or decrease the following distance in the vehicle setup settings or turn this feature off altogether. Traffic Sign Assist will help identify the right speed and alert you to let you know if traffic laws have changed. General GPS navigation and camera technology allow you to know when traffic laws change to alert you and keep you compliant. Traffic signs are also noted in the navigation screen in the MBUX setup. Blind spot and rear cross traffic alert detects approaching vehicles in your blind spot and alerts you, keeping you safer. And rear cross traffic alerts let you know when a vehicle or pedestrian is crossing behind you. Rear view camera with ultrasonic rear park assist provides gradient ability to see the area behind you as you navigate in reverse and visual markings alert the RVer before approaching an object with several different distant alert increments. LED high performance headlamps provide improved illumination that maximizes the view of the road ahead while further enhancing the RV's overall aesthetic and sleek front end design. Adaptive High Beam Assist Enhanced Safety in the Dark This system makes driving in the dark safer and helps to reduce the strain on the driver. Adaptive High Beam Assist always makes the best possible headlamp range available while avoiding dazzling oncoming traffic. The driver barely needs to make use of the high beam switch and is able to concentrate better when driving in the dark. Adaptive high beam assist uses continuous input from a camera to automatically vary the range of the high beam headlamps based on the distance to oncoming vehicles and any vehicles traveling ahead of you. Mercedes-Benz's wet wiper system provides clean lines of sight if you have to wash your windshield as you drive. Traditional spray nozzles are replaced by tiny laser cut holes along the wiper arm that spray the fluid directly in front of the wipers as they sweep in either direction. Fluid consumption is reduced by over 50%, the system is heated in cold weather terrain, and the windshield is cleansed much more effectively by the wet wiper system. Attention Assist monitors your driving patterns for signs of fatigue and gives you an early warning to make sure you're not driving drowsy. If it detects fatigue or lapses in concentration on behalf of the driver, it suggests you take a break with an audible and visual warning. You simply confirm acknowledgement in the MBUX system and this feature can be turned on or off in vehicle settings. Not only as safety is the cornerstone of the all new Sprinter, we've also now included interior aesthetic upgrades similar to that of the Mercedes S-Class Luxury Auto, including Artico leather cab seats that do feature all three sets of safety enhancements, tilt and telescoping steering with a complete array of steering wheel controls for the all new infotainment center, making trips more enjoyable with the Sprinter's multitude of sophisticated MBUX infotainment features, 
just above this location, you'll see we've also then included wireless charging for your smartphone or tablet. Inside this compartment, we also then have USB-C controls to be able to connect for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, should you choose to use that. Although we do have here the 10.25 inch MBUX infotainment center that features hands-free calling, but also hands-free voice guidance, currently connected via Bluetooth. You'll see complete control of your smartphone or tablet, allowing us to make hands-free calls using voice guidance and Hey Mercedes artificial intelligence. We have complete navigation controls that is available through voice guidance. This will then also then tie into the traffic sign assist. Each of these apps are then also movable within the infotainment center. So if you'd like a certain array of apps, we can customize that by pressing and holding this. This is a capacitive touchscreen monitor that functions and swipes just like an iPad or Android tablet. And it's also controllable from the smart wheel controls. Sliding over then, of course, we have high definition FM radio, AM radio, and Sirius XM satellite radio that does include a free trial subscription. This can also function off of your smartphone or tablet. Controls for playing media that would reside on your smartphone or tablet, either via Bluetooth or from USB connectivity. A great feature here with info settings within the engine that provides consumption levels, DEF levels, torque curve measurements. Here's a great preview there of that rear view camera monitoring system. You can see the carbon fiber instrument panel applique setup that encases the dash and the side panels. Here as we start the engine, you can see RPM levels as well as torque curve levels. That second section then also provides consumption levels for fuel consumption and other fluids. But also on board is a complete digital operator's manual for the Mercedes-Benz VS30 chassis. Of course, not only do you have the capacitive touchscreen controls, but hard controls down below. Great way to search, find tips, bookmark certain areas if you'd like to go back to them. We do have Mercedes Pro technology in which we can enable this for 4G LTE, although for the RV lifestyle, Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity enhancements will be more cost effective. Here you'll find the vehicle settings screen with quick access for the ESP, superior ride and technology handling, also controls for lane keep assist, rear park assist, and then also assistance within different types of the safety enhancements that we just talked about to be able to display in certain locations, turn on or off. We will see controls for the active brake assist. the availability for the blind spot assist. We saw earlier the attention assist. You can see controls for the active lane keep assist. And as we move on to the vehicle settings, you'll see different Programmable settings are available for the cab chassis itself, lighting controls, and then overall system vehicle setting preferences. Again, all of this is controllable through the capacitive touchscreen monitor, but also on the smart wheel steering wheel controls. We also have hard buttons then down below. And then this is how you can actually configure and adjust which 
favorites you'd like to show up first on that 10.25 inch touchscreen monitor. Then down below we have true automatic climate control. You'll see controls for the powered sliding door located mid console with an array of cup holders and a great array of luxury aesthetic upgrades for the interior of the all new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. And now we'll cover the exterior of this factory fresh 2020 Winnebago Revel 44E equipped with all of the latest in running line change enhancements for van life revolution. You'll see we've ordered this coach factory fresh in an all new color for 2020. This is the blue gray premium full body base coat clear coat automotive finish. As we work our way towards the front, you'll see all new for 2020. We do include the blacked out front grille with the cladding along the front and then also the rear with the midline running towards the balance just underneath the driver's door. One of the first enhancements for 2020 is the all new metal roof cargo rack that's equipped with the wind fairing and also additional overhead clearance lamps. This is all steel throughout the roof rack. It does also include the multi-point ladder that we'll cover here as we get towards the rear. It can be accessible throughout the exterior of this Revel. Up front, you'll see the wet wiper system that we previously covered. Integrated fog lamps down below underneath the high performance LED headlamps. A nice step up area there to cleanse the windshield. Also under the hood, we've relocated the DEF fill nozzle so that it's much easier to fill with DEF, which is often dispensed now at major fuel stations. Up top, you'll see the integrated antenna for Sirius XM satellite radio. Again, just down below is the wet wiper system with those laser routed jets for more efficient cleansing of that windshield area. The cold air ab cabin intake is located off to the right then and again working our way down you'll see the high performance LED headlamp with the all new blacked out front Mercedes grille and then down below the integrated fog lamps. This coach is on the upgraded 9,050 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis so it does boast 1,669 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity of which then you would reduce for any cargo, any persons on board, and any fresh water maintained. This coach is on the upgraded three liter, six cylinder turbo diesel platform. So it does boast 325 pounds feet of torque. And it is then made it up with the new 7G Tronic transmission. The seven speed transmission does allow for grade breaking capability. Down below, we've also included the performance wheel upgrade with the BF Goodrich TAKO2 all-terrain tires and the Method 701 wheels. We'll cover that in detail here in a moment. Again, this is the new blue-gray exterior, one of three colors available for the 2020 model year. Of course, we include those light-duty automotive conveniences such as powered and defrosting mirrors with the integrated turn signal indicators the top two thirds of which are powered and heated, the lower one third including that convex parabolic wide angle technology. You can see the diesel fuel for the 24 and a half fuel capacity is located just behind the driver's door there. And then work on our way down, this does have the performance wheel upgrade, which include BF Goodrich TAKO2 all-terrain tires, 17-inch upgraded wheels featuring a longer tread life and drive pavement conditions with aggressive all-terrain traction, perfect for gravel, rocky, and snowy conditions. The Method 701 wheels then include bead grip technology to seat the bead while running with lower air pressures. It includes a reinforced inner lip and they are one piece cast 356 aluminum with T6 heat treatment. You can see the integrated mud flaps and then also the new running board option from Winnebago. This does include the non-skid Winnebago embossed non-skid step along with tie outs for pets are also for securing high-end bicycles. Of course, we include the LED clearance lamps, but then also undercarriage lighting. There behind that running board, you'll see the first of three 
Deep Cycle AGM Absorb Glass Map Maintenance Free RV Batteries with a total 315 amp hour bank standard. Here you'll see the exhausting for the Eberspacher Hydronic SPAR D5 Hydronic Heating System, which provides continuous on-demand hot water as well as your primary heat source. We'll cover that as well as all of the four season capabilities here in a moment of the Revel. Down below then you'll see the drainage for the 21 gallon gray tank as we cover additional clearance lamps and then also the tie outs for pets or for high end bicycles. Of course, this, these are seamless one piece rotocast tanks using Winnebago built proprietary quality upgrades. These are seamless one piece rotocast tanks handcrafted here in Forest City by Winnebago Industries. They are seamless and also include the true level holding tank monitoring system in which we invest in sonar sensors on the outsides of those one piece rotocast tanks. You'll see the city fill there for filling the 21 gallon freshwater capacity to the coach. And then we have an innovative five gallon cassette style Thetford black tank. The great thing about this is you can actually remove this entire cassette toilet for rapid sanitary drainage of your black waste tanks. If you travel through national parks in different areas, you'll see readily accessible facilities to drain that black tank. It is portable. It can be enlarged using other tanks, but also this is the five gallon cassette style toilet that does come included in the Winnebago Revel. Of course, all of the metal that we add here at Winnebago Industries is e-coated and plated with the latest in e-coat technology after a multi-million dollar infrastructure upgrades in which we e-coat and plate those metals using the same process as General Motors, Honda, and Acura. You'll see the 30 amp electrical service that is included to size and power all of the electrical appliances simultaneously in the RV. You'll see the dual pane thermal insulated sites, acrylic windows, and then also the bump outs that are included that then provide that large 49 by 79 inch gear garage and also cross coach sleeping capabilities. Again, this is the blue gray premium full body base coat, clear coat automotive finish with the blacked out method 701 wheels. And now as we work our way to the rear, you'll see each of the cargo doors for the Revel open nearly 270 degrees for easy and convenient access to that gear garage. You'll see as part of the luggage rack and ladder option, that multi-point adjustable ladder can be used in different attachment points perfect for loading kayaks and other on-the-go, outdoor, rugged activity gear that you'll need up top on the roof of the Revel. Up top then we do include the rear view camera monitoring system which is part of the Mercedes-Benz VS30 upgrade package. Ties in nicely to that 10 inch MBUX infotainment touchscreen with the capacitive touchscreen monitor. It then also includes different measuring lengths for backing up the Revel to within three feet, two feet, and one foot. This multi-point adjustable ladder for maneuvering throughout the RV also now includes a lock for the 2020 model year. Just great capacity to this gear garage with 49 by 79 inches. You can see the new lock that's been added for the 2020 model year. And again, this roof rack is all metal. Of course, you'll also see we've added the exterior graphics delete option for a stealth-like automotive exterior. That is a no charge upgrade to the RV. Down below, even though we still maintain 1,700 pounds of occupants and cargo carrying capacity, we do maintain a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package along with a seven blade bargeman wiring harness. You can see the ultrasonic rear park sensors 
And then also underneath here, you'll see the 4x4 conversion that's been added to the front and to the rear, and all of the e-coding and e-plating that has been added as part of our e-code infrastructure upgrade here at Winnebago Industries. And now as we open up this gear garage, again, each of these doors open nearly 270 degrees for easy access. You can see the storage netting that is included from Mercedes-Benz with all of the automotive insulation designed for this being a four season camper van. All of this automotive insulation provides higher R values, but also then will not sag because it's laser routed We've had testimonials from our guests that have stayed with us. One incurred 46 below wind chills, walked into our showroom the next morning. The coach maintained a 72 degree interior and the guest just previously had taken a nice warm shower. Just great for four season capabilities. New for the 2020 model year, we do include the roll -up rear and side screens. Now the great thing about this is you can black out the rear but then also leave it open for great fresh air ventilation. And then it also maintains this one third access point for conveniently accessing all of your gear in the gear garage. This also then includes that powered studio loft bed that we'll cover here in a moment. You can see the magnetic door access so you can leave these closed and then quickly enter or exit the Revel. There's also a convenient pet tie out inside each of these so that if your pet does figure out how to open it, you can clasp that off. Of course, we include electrical outlets that tie in nicely to the 2000 watt whole coach inverter, USB charge points, and then exterior lighting. You'll see several different D-ring attachment points that have been pull tested inside the floor of this 49 by 79 inch gear garage. Also new for 2020, we've added additional LED lighting underneath that powered studio loft bed. Exterior here, then we include the outside shower that does include the coiled water hose. Both hot and cold water are being provided, and then we have controls for the 12 volt on demand water pump so that if you do want to hose down your gear or yourself before entering your camper van, you can do so. Even if you forgot to turn your water pump on, you don't have to trounce through your Revel to do so. But a great new option here with the roll of side and rear screens. We'll cover the side screens here in a moment. You can see several of the diffusers for the Eberspacher SFAR D5 hydronic heating and hot water delivery source, which does operate off of the electrical element or a very energy efficient diesel burner using a glycol mixture with heat exchangers. They then insulate the fresh water as well as the gray tank. And now as we elevate up, unlike any dealership here in North America, we're gonna show you all of the quality components atop the roof of the 2020 Winnebago Revel. A nice sneak preview to that powered Colorado Carefree 10 foot powered patio awning that does include a motion sensor for auto retract and LED lighting. As we zoom in, you'll see the factory installed upgrade that we've included with the 13,500 BTU low profile, high efficiency air conditioning system. Working our way from the rear to the front, you'll see controls for that ladder, as well as the 200 watt solar package, which is included and expandable using plug and play technology. Sandwiched in between those two then is the Max Air Premium Vent System. The Max Air Premium Vent System really will provide a tremendous amount of fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with those new roll lift screens. You'll see the antenna for Sirius XM satellite radio and also connectivity access. So if you'd like to add cellular or Wi-Fi boosting capabilities, we can certainly accommodate that for you. So be sure to check out our connectivity live archive video webcast in our video library on Litson.com in which we walk you through several different connectivity upgrades for Wi-Fi boosting or cellular 4G LTE boosting. Also be sure to check out on our website at Litson.com our Revel gear page, including many of the commonly ordered accessories that guests will trick out their Revel with, including the capability of adding the soft start to allow that 13.5 BTU high efficiency ducted air conditioning system to ramp up off of a 2000 watt portable generator. 
So again, this has 200 watts of solar up top, expandable up to 510 watts using additional rooftop panels or from using portable panels. The primary goal of that will be to recharge the three deep cycle AGM absorbed glass mat maintenance free RV batteries that do include 315 amp hours. They then will power the 2000 watt whole coach inverter, powerful enough to power even the induction cooktop and any of the household appliances that you would plug into any of the electrical outlets. Again, that is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter to power all of your electrical accessories inside the Revel. And now as we work our way back towards ground level, we'll wrap up with the patio components. Keep in mind the Revel is 19 feet 5 inches long. It is 7 feet 1 inches wide. And again, it is 9 feet 10 inches tall, which does include the air conditioner. Here you'll see electrical outlets alongside the patio side along with that quick port for expanding the solar package up to 510 watts. Again, each of the side windows that Winnebago has installed are the site's dual pane acrylic windows, which will provide great fresh air ventilation when tipped out as a canopy or awning style window. Down below then also with these running boards, we've shortened this to allow for greater ground clearance by not having to reroute the Mercedes exhaust. You'll see the fold down outside table, integrated and trimmed out with the roll of side screens. Down below you'll see a convenient tank fill for filling the 21 gallon fresh water capacity as well as you'll see the winterization kit, rarely used because this is a four season camper in conjunction with the S-Bar heater. Although we do have a great winterization video in our video library on Litzing.com if you do choose to winterize it and use it as a light duty passenger vehicle, you'll see the fresh water drain and then also different drainage for the winterization process. Again, the fresh water tank does include the true level holding tank monitoring system in which we invest in sonar sensors on the outsides of those one piece rotocast tanks as a opposed to drilling through like other RV manufacturers or upfitters that will drill through those tanks continuously using probes that can potentially leak, corrode, or provide false readings over time. You'll see the same running board on the patio side with clearance lamps and undercarriage lighting and tie outs for pets or for high-end bicycles. We continue with that side roll-off screen option with the magnetic enter and exit capability and the tie out for pets that will figure out how to open that. You'll see continuous undercarriage lighting and clearance lighting, and then the third of those three AGM absorbed glass map batteries. Great fresh air ventilation. You can use this and leave this closed up and still maintain all of that fresh air ventilation. You can leave those rolled down and then use the magnetic entering and exiting capabilities. Also new for 2020 with the Mercedes VS30 chassis is the powered cargo door. This does include the capability to open and close it using this keyless fob. You can actually stop this at any point. If it does sense any type of an obstruction will automatically retract. You can do this from the key fob, from inside the cargo door, from the front instrumentation cluster. And if you like to leave it completely off inside, just underneath that dual pane thermal insulated window, there is a knob that will allow you to completely turn off the powered capability to the cargo door. But a great whisper quiet fluid operation, modeling the high end capabilities of Mercedes Benz. So on the exterior of the RV, we do have that patio LED light. We have the LED lighting for this Colorado Carefree 10-foot armless powered patio awning. 
This does function off of 12 volt, off of the AGM absorb glass mat batteries. It does also include a motion sensor so that in high winds, it will automatically retract. 10 feet in length provides a great overhead sun protection for your main patio area. And again, some great exterior enhancements for the all new 2020 factory fresh Winnebago Revel here at Litson RV. This is the exterior blue gray premium full body base coat clear coat automotive finish. And now as we work our way inside the 2020 Winnebago Revel, we'll cover one sweeping shot of this floor plan and then we'll cover things in more detail. We've ordered this coach factory fresh in the gravity interior. It's paired up with Silver Springs cabinetry, which is handcrafted by Winnebago Industries here in Forest City using computer aided design so that not only can we maximize interior storage, we can minimize tolerances in fit and finish, which long-term will minimize squeaks and rattles compared to competing models that purchase their cabinetry from third-party suppliers. This is also metal framed cabinetry, so it's designed to hold up to the rugged terrain that the Winnebago Revel is expected to endure. Again, you saw that 140 cubic foot gear garage with the powered studio loft bed with a forward facing dinette with article leather seats up front that rotate to become integral lounge chairs. Again, we do have that powered sliding door with three different locations to access the powered capability of it, a fully featured galley and a wonderful electrical setup for an off the grid experience. And now let's cover things in more detail in each of the main living areas to the Revel. Towards the patio side then, you'll see the roll of screen. It provides great fresh air ventilation for this forward facing dinette that does include ultra leather from Ultra Fabrics. So it's very weather temperative, meaning not so cold during the winter and not so hot during the summer. You can also be fairly aggressive in terms of how you clean ultra leather. This bench dinette seat does have dual safety belts with a pull-up dinette table that can be used for the driver article leather lounge chair. Up top, a full bank of Silver Springs cabinetry, again, which is metal frame to des be designed for the long haul along with positive lock latching mechanisms to ensure things don't jump out in travel. You can see the metal frames to that cabinetry. Then down below underneath that, you'll see the first of several different dual pane sites acrylic windows that do include both the insect screen and the opaque blackout screen. It does also have a dual locking position so that you can leave this open. You can see several RAM mount track system setups throughout the coach. Great for iPad, iPhone mounts, Android smartphones and Android tablets, multiple 12 volt PowerPoint locations and USB charge points. You can see the new metal shelf just to the right of this location provides great storage in the overhead headliner for the transition from the high top van into the cockpit area. Then again, down below, we include that blackout screen as well as the insect screen for great fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with the Max Air Premium vent system overhead that we'll showcase here in a moment. Just some great fresh air ventilation, especially in between the driver and patio side, especially in conjunction for that Max Air Premium vent system that will pull through all of that fresh air. Again, with that Ultra Fabrics dinette, then we include the dual safety belts. Just above, we have Winnebago's patented one place panel with all of your gauges in one easy to access location including controls for the powered studio loft bed in the upper left hand corner where we currently have the two Mercedes key fobs tied together for that key access for the powered studio loft bed to ensure that nobody can play with that, drop it down and ensure that you're not having clearance. Underneath this location then underneath the controls for the powered studio loft bed we have a great new upgrade for 2020 
This is a digital thermostat for the hydronic heating system. The hydronic heating system is a 17,500 BTU Eberspacher S-Bar D5 hydronic heating system that will heat both off of the diesel burner or when plugged in off of an electrical element. The beauty of this is just how energy efficient this S-Bar system is because it literally will burn only 0.07 gallons of diesel fuel per hour in low mode, which translates into 260 hours of runtime off of a 24 and a half gallon fuel tank of which we can tap into the top three quarters. On high mode, it only burns 0.17 gallons, so provides 108 hours of heating off of the top three quarters of that main fuel tank. Here you can see the controls for the hydronic system and then off to the right controls for the 200 watt ZAMP solar system package, which is expandable up to 510 watts. Again, the main goal of that would be to the replenish the three AGM absorbed glass mat batteries featuring 315 amp hours, which then provide power to the 2000 watt whole house inverter. Off to the right, then you have controls for the 12 volt on-demand water pump and also readouts for the true level holding tank monitoring system, as well as the 12 volt on-demand water pump switch. And finally for the auxiliary tank levels and also auxiliary battery levels. Then sliding over to the left, just underneath the ZAMP panel, you'll see the electric element side to the Eberspacher S-Bar D5 hydronic heating system. Again, 17,500 BTUs. Here you'll find controls for the 2000 watt whole house pure sine wave inverter. Again, the goal of that is to allow you to power electrical appliances, all of the outlets inside the RV, off of the three AGM absorbed glass mat batteries. That will also power the induction cooktop that we'll cover here just opposite the dinette here in a moment. This also then converts into the first of two different sleeping areas inside the Revel. We're gonna break away from this location to show you how simple this is to convert from a two-person seat-belted dinette bench seat directly into a cross-coach sleeping area. Again, a great pull-out flip-up table in that dinette with the opposite location for the driver's seat that swivels to become an integral lounge chair. You can see the dual safety belts underneath this location is where you'll find the SBAR D5 hydronic heating system. You can see the venting for that and several different diffusers throughout as well as behind this facade then is where you'll find your 12 volt and 110 volt breakers. The right hand side being your 110 volt breakers and the left hand side being your 12 volt blade fuses. One continuous sheet of upgraded vinyl flooring is included throughout. Now we'll break away and showcase just how simple this is to convert into the first of two different sleeping surfaces. This first cushion will be used here in a moment. You can see the dual safety belt locations. We'll take this cushion and slide it around, which also then provides the support you can see for that metal strut. The pull-out flip-up countertop extension then glides down to provide the base towards the patio side. That second cushion then comes in and bam, you have a 25 by 69 inch flex bed system up front for the first of two different sleeping surfaces. Now we'll return to the main dinette location. You can see the flip up dinette table along with a ram track mount located just behind there. This glides away towards the driver's side sidewall. Again, the seats up front do include powered lumbar support, adjustable headrests, and they slide, swivel, and recline. We also have a new VersaGlide mechanism up front, so it's very simple to swivel those front seats to become integral lounge chairs, integral comfortable lounge chairs with the Artico synthetic leather seating. Anytime you see this type of a metal track, that is a Ram track mount that provides great versatility for any type of smartphone, tablet device storage, for comfortable viewing, laptop storage.
and then you can see that pull-up dinette table flushes against the driver side sidewall and there is a tie-in strap to keep that secure in place. Underneath this location, you'll see an additional 110 volt outlet, again, which is hot off of the 2000 watt whole house inverter. You can see several different diffusers for the hydronic heating system, full drawer stacks, all of which of course are full length extensions with metal drawer glides, a fully featured galley that does include storage overhead. You can see how precise the roll up screen system is. You can also see here the premium vent system that does then provide great fresh air ventilation in conjunction with the roll of screens and the dual pane sites acrylic windows that tip out and can be locked in a tip out position to provide great fresh air ventilation. Of course throughout the RV we use LED lighting which is 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. You can see all of the cabinetry is metal framed for endurance over the long haul with positive lock latching mechanisms. Several different catch-all storage locations are included throughout along with a location up top there then for USB 12 volt power point stations. So a great location to temporarily store your smart devices. Just above there then is another RAM track mount system. Again with 12 volt power points off to the right to keep those charged while viewing. Down below then we do include the induction cooktop which is hot off of the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. A high endurance countertop then is included along with that flip up countertop extension. The beauty of that induction range top is that it does not actually turn on and radiate heat unless it senses the magnetics in the induction cookware. And again, it is hot off of the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Off to the left, then we have a drop-in stainless steel sink with a folding faucet and innovative glass cooktop cover to maximize what is already a tremendous amount of countertop space in a 19 foot nimble on the go van from Winnebago Industries. Here you'll see that innovative folding faucet along with the glass cover. Again, that will maximize countertop space of course, down below we have a full drawer stack with positive lock latching mechanisms for great storage underneath this stainless steel drop-in sink. You can see the flip-up countertop extension just to the left there was also the controls to turn off that powered cargo sliding door. Inside the step well then, not only do we have a gravity tank fill for the freshwater tanks, we have controls for the undercarriage lighting in the coach, controls for the independent LED lighting in the awning, controls for the 10 foot powered patio awning, and well, as well as a coach battery disconnect switch that allows us to place the coach in storage and ensure no parasitic draw off of those three AGM absorbed glass mat batteries. The undercarriage lighting provides great bright light. Be sure to check out some of our still photos on our vehicle display page on Litson.com in which we showcase just how bright that undercarriage lighting can be to return to your revel in the dark. Another convenient located 110 volt outlet along with several different well laid out wall switches for overhead lighting. Again, all of these drawer stacks are full length extensions with metal drawer glides. Off to the right of that drawer stack, then we also feature a compressor driven refrigerator and freezer. Using compressor driven refrigerator and freezer technology allows us to run this at higher altitudes. It also ensures that we don't have to carry any LP on board. You don't have to be leveled to re run the refrigerator and it provides more energy efficient cooling of that refrigerator and freezer. This also has a positive lock latching access for that two and a half cubic foot Novacool compressor driven refrigerator and freezer. And then off to the right is an oversized pantry that we'll showcase here in a moment. 
And as we wrap up and take a look at the adjustable bins and shelves in this compressor driven refrigerator and freezer, we'll also cover the pantry, but also cover the specifications to the Revel, which is 19 feet, five inches long. It is nine feet, 10 inches tall to the height of the RV, including the optional Coleman Mach non-ducted quiet air conditioning system. It's seven feet, one inches wide, and also the interior ceiling height is six feet, three inches. A great split pantry here is located off to the right, again, with those positive lock latching mechanisms. This does feature adjustable shelving so that you can literally place things at your customized height. We continue with that bright LED lighting throughout the RV. And then you can see, of course, mounted right into that powered studio loft bed, we have a RAM track mount system. It can be used for watching an iPad at night, a tablet at night. And then overhead, again, we have this all new Coleman Mach 10 NDQ non-ducted quiet air conditioning system, which is six to eight decibels quieter than in previous years. Be sure to check out some of our power management videos in our video library on Litson.com as when we showcase what can be used to power the air conditioning system in the Revel for the shoreline power and by using a portable generator. The innovation in this powered studio loft bed to the rear inside that 140 cubic foot gear garage is the fact that we have these side bump outs that provide a 79 inch cross coach sleeping area. It's 49 inches in terms of depth. Also be sure to check out that measurements video in our video library on Litson.com in which we showcase all of the individual measurements that you'll need inside the Revel. Of course, we continue with 12 volt and USB power points throughout the RV. One of the most common questions we get with this powered studio loft bed is can it be placed in a certain location, not dropped all the way down? It certainly can. The only thing that you'll have to understand that you'll lose is the side cushions although we do have the measurements for just the components that rise up and down. Again, great flexibility of this RAM track mount system. We carry all of these different RAM track mounts in stock here at Litson RV in our 7,000 square foot camping and RV accessories store that we have here in our all new dealership. Inside this gear garage, of course, you'll see multiple different D-ring locations for tying down cargo. Inside the over sized all-in-one gear closet then and bathroom. We'll showcase all of the storage and different capabilities that you have for using the gear closet and the bath in one. But first we'll raise up this powered studio loft bed to showcase all of the detailed components here in that 140 cubic foot gear garage. Again, we've added LED lighting underneath this powered studio loft bed so that if you are using the RV without sleeping at night and you're bringing in gear, you can raise that bed up and down and still have lighting underneath it. But again, with these fiberglass bump outs to each side, we do gain such a wider sleeping surface. We have 110 volt outlets conveniently located inside this gear garage. You can see the different tie down applications that we have throughout. Of course, we continue with the 12 volt power point stations and well articulated wall switches for overhead lighting. Again, you saw that exterior wash station when we had the rear cargo doors open. We continue with the dual pane sites acrylic window inside the driver's side here of the gear garage. Again, that does include the ability to lock that out in a partial location to gain all of that fresh air ventilation. You can see additional diffusers and additional ram mount track mounts just well located throughout the RV, this one being off to the left there. inside this gear closet and bath in one you'll see the cassette toilet that we covered when we were outside the rv that we showcased that five gallon sanitary black tank drainage capacity this features a 
flexible handheld shower head that allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when RVing off the grid. We have a 12 volt powered ventilator fan, a removable clothes hanger, and then also two different removable sealed marine plywood teak style shelves that can be placed in different locations. The coach does include two different removable shelves, each of which is a customizable depth so that you can uniquely place different storage capabilities inside this gear closet when not being used as a wet bath. This is a 26 by 31 inch fully encompassed gear closet and bath in one. You can see the dry dock storage off to the left. This is sealed with a rubber bulb seal gasket so it will keep things dry inside that dry dock. Again, we have a dry dock for the tissue paper and a one-piece pan and a one-piece surround that provides for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. And of course, we include the shower curtain to encompass that all-in-one wet bath. This cassette toilet does actually swivel for ease of use. Very simple to use, but the beauty of this, if you've ever been to a, a national park area that has restrooms, you can see the different drainage facilities that they have. So very easy to drain that five gallon black tank in that cassette toilet and provides a great sanitary way of doing so. And as we wrap up with this accordion style metal framed door with the positive lock latching mechanism and the contemporary satin nickel hardware, there you'll see the pedestal. That is for the fold down outside table that we covered with the easier access of providing the insert for that fold down outside table compared to previous revels in 18 and 19. And now as we work our way back up front, we'll showcase the front cockpit area Again, overhead, we do have the all new overhead metal shelving that's included in the headliner for the high rooftop cargo van. It provides great storage capability overhead. It also includes the privacy screens for providing privacy at night from the cockpit. Again, these front seats are article leather with powered lumbar support. They also have different depth for thigh comfort levels that slide in and out. We have the VersaGlide zero turn radius swivel mechanism so it's very easy to swivel these seats around to become integral lounge chairs and of course they slide swivel and recline with an adjustable armrest on the right hand side or left hand side for the passenger and of course you'd use the driver or the passenger door for the other armrest that you may have these very simply just lift up and then slide out to provide a differing depth for height measurements We've had several different individuals inside these front seats, even with inseams up to 34 inches, a very comfortable, great length for legroom inside this new Mercedes BS30 chassis. Here you can see the side thorax and pelvic airbag setup, which is in those article leather seats. Of course, we have the window curtain airbags and dual front airbags for a total of six. Again, tilted telescoping steering provide for a fatigueless fit over the long haul. You can see controls on the smart wheel, which is a leather wrapped steering wheel. Provides great access for the instrumentation cluster form from Mercedes Benz just straight ahead. And then also the MBUX 10.25 inch infotainment setup that we previously covered. You can see we continue with the carbon fiber instrument panel applique setup. There is actually the gear shift selector in which would normally be the windshield washer fluid area. You can see keyless start here for the remote key fob. Also controls to engage the 4x4 setup from Mercedes-Benz. And also just a nice overlay here of the MBUX. Previously we covered this in more detail. That Mercedes-Benz unique experience that user experience with the MBUX setup provides for just such a smooth, capacitive flow of using all of the different infotainment setups, but really tying in the safety enhancements, which is the cornerstone of Mercedes-Benz, and tying that then into the 
smart wheel thumb control so that you can swipe using your thumbs as you drive down the road and keeping your eyes on the road without having to reach over and use the capacitive touchscreen monitor. Although that certainly can be used and it certainly will be used then for the passenger in transit. Again, we previously showcased that each of these apps can be maneuvered throughout different locations. You can enter in certain locations using the keyboard. You can actually draw on the screen as well. Or of course you can use Hey Mercedes artificial intelligence, which will then tie in to voice control of your phone, your navigation, your audio visual controls, your multimedia that may be stored in Mercedes or on your smartphone using Bluetooth or the USB controls with that wireless charging in the overhead console just above the MBUX setup. Again, be sure to check out our multimedia connectivity enhancements video in our video library on Litson.com in which we showcase how simple it is to achieve Wi-Fi or cellular LTE boosters for 4G and 5G technology. But you can tie those then into your current Mercedes account or you could tie them into your Verizon and AT&T account or Sprint account for a much more cost effective setup as you travel but then also achieve the enhancement boost of using the Connect 2.0 or the WeBoost technology. Again, those are some of the hard control switches you can use for the MBUX. And then down below, we have true automatic climate control. Of course, multiple cup holders throughout the RV. Another location to engage the powered cargo sliding door. Again, that can be turned off. It can be stopped midway. If something obstructs it, it will certainly retract it as well. But great ease of access in and out with that trim line cup holder console. Again, that is the powered switch for the powered sliding cargo door. You can also then see additional 12 volt power points and USB connections underneath. You can see the 12 volt off to the right. And then additional USB connections. Great storage off to the left and to the right. And then of course overhead with the new metal shelf installed by Winnebago. Additional cup holders overhead. A nice shot there of that wet wiper system also that provides all of those hundreds of laser tuned jets to provide heated powered washer fluid in cold weather conditions. Again, this is the wireless charging technology and the USB connections. If you choose to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, See different defrost vents, additional cup holders for the passenger. Of course, we continue with the carbon fiber instrument panel applique setup and great storage underneath the dual front airbags. And so as we wrap up in the Mercedes-Benz VS30 cockpit, we'll cover the overhead storage just behind here, some of the camera technology. as well as sunglass storage and visors to the left and to the right. You can see even LED courtesy lighting throughout the RV. You can also see the microphone inputs for the Hey Mercedes artificial intelligence package. And as we wrap up in the cockpit of the new Mercedes-Benz third generation VS30 Sprinter chassis, We'll swivel around and we'll cover one last sweeping shot as I want to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you our factory fresh 2020 Winnebago Revel 44E. This camper van is now powered by the tried and true fuel efficient third generation Mercedes-Benz VS30 Sprinter chassis with the on-demand four-wheel drive system and it's available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa. 
and recently named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the North American top dealer for sales volume across all of the motorized coach divisions of Winnebago Industries, again based right here in Forest City, Iowa, but reaching out across all of North America for that top sales volume award now for the past five consecutive years. And as we wrap up with the showcase of that powered sliding cargo door, keep in mind this coach is factory fresh and it does provide you the ability to break in your coach in accordance with the way Winnebago Industries and Mercedes-Benz outline inside their owner's manuals in which there certainly is a definitive break-in procedure in which they recommend, if possible, no towing for the first thousand miles and vary your speeds to break in and seat those cylinders in that Mercedes-Benz three liter six cylinder turbo diesel platform, as opposed to the way a delivery transport driver may and do tow their own personal vehicle out to your local dealership, be the first to break in that new factory fresh VS30 powertrain, sleep that first night in your factory fresh Revel, and eat that first meal in your new Winnebago Revel here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of Winnebago Industries. I'm Ron Litson, and I want to thank you for visiting our dealership here in Forest City, Iowa. Here are some great points from the Litson RV team as to points unrelated to price why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees with purchasing in the state of Iowa as a customer will pay their tax, title, and license in which the state that they register their RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. As you can see, we help people day in and day out all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. Due to our close proximity to Winnebago factory, we're able to take advantage of cost savings over other RV dealerships. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We offer free, thorough walk-arounds with our guests at the time of delivery, where we take as much time as needed for our guests to understand every function, maintenance, and warranty item of their RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. Here at Litson RV, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filter fresh water, and electrical hookups, whether they're here to take delivery of their new RV or just passing through for service. We work with several different lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rates and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries based right here in Forest City, Iowa.